Paul McCartney, the man himself, is joining us here on Triple J to share with us the stories behind these songs. That was a breakthrough record for Wings, Band on the Run. And that period after the Beatles called it a day and then you started doing your own solo work and Wings took up. How was that for you? I mean, was it sort of a challenge to reinvent yourself in the next stage of who Paul McCartney would be? Yeah, well, it was either that or quit, you know, and uh, that was the decision at the time. But I realised I liked music too much and that if I quit, I'd still be doing it as a hobby. So I thought, well, it'd be good to try and, you know, form another band. But, you know, realising the Herculean task of following the Beatles, uh, you know, that was the thing. But I had to say, yeah, it's not going to be easy. But if you want to continue in music and if you want to be in a band, that's what you're going to have to do. Whenever you've had those periods of self-doubt, what's compelled you to keep moving forward? Then and now. There's no alternative in your mind. You know, you think, what is the alternative? You search around. Well, the alternative is don't be in music. But I, I think the problem is I love it too much. It's sort of in my soul, you know. So that even like I say, even though I've got a day off, I'll pick up a guitar. And what a magical thing to be able to create. Something it is. from nothing. Something it really, like what you create. Yeah, you know, it really is. Um, and I think that's the thing, you know, you, you get hooked on this idea that you can sit down, just noodle around, and maybe something magical will happen. And you don't know how it happens. That's the nice thing. Songwriting is really quite mysterious. Songwriting, it can go in any old direction. You can suddenly have something hopefully good that you've never done before, you know. So it's, it's quite, uh, quite addictive. <laughs>